Alrighty, all right, my boos. I got a video for you guys. I'm gonna be reviewing this Model One Poly Gel Kit I've had on the back burner for a minute, and I think it's time to review it. I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do this. I did review one of their smaller kits a long time ago. This, and then I ordered this as well. I just received this in too, and this is their 20 piece decal sticker kit. And uh, I'll review that when I come to that, but let's go ahead and open this and see what comes inside this kit. If I could actually get it open. All right, so here we go. So when you open it, this is what you're going to see. Sorry guys, I've got stuff everywhere. But in your little thing here, your kit, you're going to get blue glitter. You get these little pamphlet here. It tells you a little bit about Model 1. You get a need help card. That way if you need assistance, you can contact them. Tells a little bit little tips on the back of this page here or pack of this uh, on the back of this little card that you can use a little helpful uh, hints. Oh my god, I can't talk today. But anyways, you also get a step-by-step -step guide instruction on how to use their poly gel and a little bit of tips on the side. That's really great to have. So here we go. In this, you're gonna get these model ones dual forms. I actually like these dual forms, they are some of my favorites. You also get a top and base coat in this kit that comes with Model 1's. Do be careful about leaving this out in your UV light. It will cure. I have ruined several bottles. Um, you get also get sip Slip Solution in this kit as well, which I think I tried that. I'm not too sure if I did. You get Bright White in this kit. These are 15 millers a piece, guys. They are completely full. You get a soft pink. I really like soft pink. It's a beautiful color. I have to say this is probably the first poly gel kit that I've actually got that they are completely full guys I was really shocked you get a lot pink in this kit also another very pretty pink if you're looking for cover pinks this is great for that you get a soft apricot in this kit as well or this is light apricot I'm sorry my bad not soft apricot light apricot and you get a nude in this kit, which I really like the nude. And last but not least, you're going to get a thermal color changing poly gel in this kit. And it is really beautiful. I love it. It's very bright pink. But anyways, let's go ahead and I'm going to swatch these on a piece of paper for you guys. And let's go do that. Okay guys, so this is what they look like after being cured. As you can see, the thermal changed to clear, which is really pretty. When they're clear, you can do glitter inside them. That way you can see the glitter. But I actually love this new color. really like the light pink. Soft pink is really pretty. This nude is gorgeous, but I also like their slip solution because it comes in this little bottle that you can easily pour out of. 
but anyways guys I'm just going to pour a little bit into a dampened dish here and we're going to get started but let me know what you guys think down below of the Model 1's Poly Gel Kit if you like it or not or if you've tried it leave me a comment whether you like this design or not and let's get started guys Alright guys, so I'm applying the nude. I decided to use nude in this set. Um, this poly gel is different than most poly gels I've used. I actually really like this poly gel. But this type of poly gel is super creamy and soft. So do not overwork this poly gel. Um, you need to keep your brush wet. I don't, I don't mean like soaking wet. I mean like damp enough to where the poly gel won't stick to your poly gel tool. But literally you just pat the poly gel in place uh, where you like it. Like don't worry so much about if it's lumpy or this and that. Because you'll see me in the video like turn my finger upside down. It's that soft that it'll level out perfectly and then you cure. But um, other than that, like I said, it's a really great poly gel and the tubes are completely full. Uh, but it's actually really easy to work with. I know it may seem a little difficult at first, but when you actually get the hang of it, like literally you're patting it into place. Not again and tugging. Now, I know a couple of times I might have tried to pull it back a little bit and then remembered that I couldn't do that. Um, but you'll see that in the video. But like I said, you know, you literally just pat it where you want it and leave it because it'll self-level itself. And if you're having problems and can't get it to where you want it, like I said, just turn your finger upside down. It's that soft that it literally will level itself and it just turns out beautiful. But let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you like this poly gel or if you've had problems with this poly gel or if you love this poly gel. I would love to know your opinions. Let me know down below, guys.
Alright guys, so now I have the Model Ones 20 piece kit here with decal and stickers. Gives you a little pamphlet when you open it. Tells you a little bit how to apply the stickers and decals. I do like this little kit. It is super cute. But this is just an instruction just to tell you how to apply and everything. It's handy if you don't know how. Um, there's several ways of applying stickers and decals. But you get a top and a base coat here of Model Ones. Here are the stickers and decals. Looks like you get a pair of scissors in here. These are cute little scissors, really nice. And then I'm just gonna toss the box here. And inside of this here is a pair of tweezers that come in this kit. I actually like these tweezers. They're really nice to have. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and look at the stickers and see what kind that we have. But I do really like these scissors too. Let's go ahead and open them up as well. Take a look at those, see what they look like. Ooh, those are really nice. I do like those. But all right, so let's look at these stickers. So upon opening, let's take a look. Lord, it takes me forever to open it. Okay, so here we go. We've got gold holographic flames. Really cute, I like those. These are 3D stickers, which I do like and I don't like. Um, looks like you got uh, different kinds of colors, shades, holographic, com uh, chameleon like colors. You have flames, and then you have these little uh, I don't even know what you want to call these, but they're different than the flames. You got leaves in here, colored leaves, um, just all sorts of different ones. Only thing is, you don't really know what color it's going to show until you apply it to the nail. We've got gold stickers, looks like. Uh, we've got silver holographic, some more chameleon like colors. Um, not sure exactly which one I want to use. You got some more holographic, looks like here. Then you've got holographic silver flames as well. And then in the end, you have a lettering, alphabetic lettering stickers as well. But I am just going to sort through these, try to figure out which one that I want to use. I do actually like this. Not too crazy about the 3D because I feel like if you do 3D, it's going to be easy to fall off. Unless you encapsulate it, I guess. But if you encapsulate it, it just kind of takes the effect away from... 3D. So, anyways, let's go ahead and sort through these and I'll figure out which one I want to put on. Let me know what you guys think about this kit. I'll leave it linked down below before you guys. That way you can go check it out.
All right, guys. So I'm using this metallic gel polish that I ordered from AliExpress. Um, it does. I can't. It doesn't have a name on top of it. If I find it, I'll link it down below. But I'm just using this to blend in with these holographic flame stickers. I'm just going to go around and outline the back of the nail. Um, I am going to do a little bit of a nail design with it. It's actually really pretty. I actually love this metallic. I ordered ordered this in three different colors: metallic, rose gold, and silver. Um, very beautiful. I am a little crooked though, I do admit. Once I get this done and you'll see it, but to me, I can tell that it's crooked. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but listen, I'm practicing, so. But I wanted to outline this a little bit, give it a little more color, other than being just plain. But I'm just outlining little places, going around the nails, outlining it, putting a few little dots here and there. But, and then I'm going to do a full design on my black, uh, on the black. Uh, nail I have made here but like I said it's a little crooked I can tell it but I will practice makes perfect right <laughs> let me know what you guys think if you like this decal sticker kit do I do have to say though if you are using the stickers uh, the decals are really the flame decals the like holographic ones or and the um, the gold holographic are a little thick so you do need to make sure that you press down firmly on those and you need to apply your base coat first i didn't apply the base coat first because wasn't really thinking at the time but apply that first then apply your sticker and then apply your top coat so do make sure you press those down firmly but anyways guys let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video and let me know what you guys think down below All right, guys, so that is what I came up with using the Model Ones Poly Gel and the Model Ones um, Decal Kit. It comes with top and base coat with water, de or water decals, 3D decals, and it comes with these flame decals. You get scissors and a pair of, of little tweezer-like things with it as well. And, yeah, Poly Gel Kit, you get several different colors, top and base coat, and then you get a blue glitter in that one. I'll leave everything linked down below for you guys, so that way you can go check it out. But, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this set, whether you love it or not. I absolutely love it. think it's adorable. Could have been a little bit straighter on the middle nail, but I'm working on it. Like I said, I'm not usually used to doing things like that, but... Maybe I'll get better. And it's harder to do on me than it is somebody else too. So I probably could have went a little bit straighter over this way. 
Anyways, I love you guys. Hope you all enjoy it. Let me know what you think down below. Make sure you hit the like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new here. Let's be friends and do nail art together. And if you already subscribed, thank you guys for being so awesome. I love you guys. Bye.